Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, Roberto Job. Grazie mille e benvenuti, which was Italian to say good afternoon, welcome to this next session. Now, may I ask, um, may I ask most people do have a lucky number. Most people have one or two lucky numbers. Very few people have a lucky card. So I have developed uh, an experiment, a little experiment, so somebody can find out about his lucky cards. Now, do we have uh, somebody who would like to find out about his lucky card? How about Alain? Alain, we have a nice round of applause for you, Alain. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me here. Of course, we'll be using a pack of uh, play cards to find out about your lucky card. Now, here's the way to do it. We will have to use a block. Has it? So, look, I'm going to shuffle the cards. Don't even bother letting you shuffle the cards. So, you know, uh, here is the idea. I would like you, Alan, to cut about half the deck. Cut about half the cards. Now, here, the card you've cut to, that's one of your lucky cards. You don't know which one it is. Well, may I ask you to cut another half? La bella boccia. Very good. So, this card, this is not a lucky card. You don't know it yet. We, we, we don't know it yet. But uh, maybe you cut, cap, maybe this time with your left hand, mm -hmm. which is closer to your heart, maybe for better luck. Very good. Now you don't know which card you cut here, right? Now let's check. We're going to look. Ah, not so bad. Ah, even better. Uh, Alain, did you have lucky cards before? No? You, you want to try that? So we don't know. Look, this is one. This could have been another one, this could have been one, this could have been one, but you have got these ones. Look, it's not any car, it's an ace. <laughs> 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 and of course the others, Alain, are of course a nine, uh, a three and a five. Well, it's a lucky card, you know, it's not just a poker game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, but it, at least you have one. Anyway, you know, if you had cut four aces or four kings, you would have said, oh, it's a very good card, I can make some money when I gamble. Now you say, because you don't know the context yet, you say, oh, they are weak cards, I will lose one. In any case, there is, and there always has been, an affinity between cards and money. Right? So I'm going to demonstrate this. Do you happen to have some money here? I, uh, well, look, as a symbolically, symbolically, I will use some coins. Actually, I'm going to stand up so everybody, even at home, can see this even better. Now, as you can see, there are three coins. They have a nice sound. They're silver coins. And these are very small coins. Uh, the coin looks unimportant, maybe. It's not. It's a small gold coin. You see the small gold coin? And actually, the small gold coin is worth more than 10 times the other three coins. Sometimes appearances. Oh, hello, yes. Now, here's the idea. And I'm going to put these cards on top of each of the coin because that's the lucky coin. Well, I slow like with this, yes? And I put one here. And I put one. Oh, did, did you remember? I was doing so much talking. <laughs> did you remember the cards? Uh, ah, ah that, that, that's it. That's important. Let, let me turn the cards face up. You know, so it's so it's clear. So it's more clear. So I'm going to put the one card, which is, is a three, and it's not the black card. It's a it's a red card. It's going to be here. Here, this is a black card. This is actually the most important. It's the highest card. It's going with the lucky coin, which is going to be over here. And this is a. Another red, like the one here. Yes? And this is uh, another red card, which I'm going to put over here. Yes? So the three silver cards. Wow. The lucky card with the lucky coin. Watch very carefully, very slowly, because the lucky coin attracts. Money attracts money as well. Look, the first one. Look, just go like this. And you only have one red card, and over here, yes, because of the lucky card, and of course because of the lucky coin here, yes. Now look, we have one and two here, very slowly, 
That is a question of balance here. <laughs> and over here is uh, just one, it's two, it's two coins. And because, because of the lucky card, and of course we have uh, the lucky coin, which has the, the last one. Look, very slowly. And I'm going. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I want to go far away. Look. There you go. Let's go. You've been most kind, but uh, you know, there is more to it, which doesn't meet the eye at the moment. I told you these are the silver coins. Actually, these are uh, very special silver coins because for those who are in numismatics, they know this. 1964, they have been the only candy half dollars which had this amount of silver. So, quite valuable. Silver is going up. However, the lucky coin, why do you know it's a Swiss coin? It's uh, the Swiss call it a, a Swiss Freneli. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the year? What is the year of the lucky coin? Can you see that? It's very small. 1935. 1935. Now look, something interesting. You remember we shot for the cards at the beginning, and you remember uh, they of course all different cards, and you cut to four lucky yes. cards. And you were not sure if they were lucky cards. No. No. <laughs> but the lucky coin tells you, because look, the cards you've cut, it's 1935. <laughs> so if anybody asks you, Anna, what are your lucky cards? Now here they are. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>